Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another review. So this, before I start this review, I'm just going to be saying really quickly that this will be my final review for a short amount of time. I don't know exactly how long, but after I do this review, I will be strictly focusing on getting Pragmatophobia out there. We are very close to getting everything done, and we are officially in the month of March, so we have a trailer coming at the end of this month. We are also concluding filming this month for a final release date planned very soon that I can't quite state yet, but very, very soon. We're literally at the ending of production, so this will be my final review before Pragmatophobia is released just to get that out there and then I can eventually come back to doing reviews. So, yes, um, The Invisible Man. This movie has had a lot of hype. Um, it's an extremely huge movie right now. Um, it's, direct, it's from the director of Upgrade and Insidious, so it's a very anticipated film of mine. And I saw this movie day one. I've been meaning to get this review out there for a couple of days now. But this film, um, I was really, again, anticipating this film. And... Well, let's just let's just uh, go over what this film offers. So, <clears throat> a majority of this film is rock solid, and while its last act is possibly the most intense yet, kind of sometimes least involved, Elizabeth Moss is absolutely awesome throughout the entire movie, and the suspense and tension are generally top notch. This film did have its fair share of cliches to be honest and a lot of times there were some things where just because I'm a little bit nitpicky just because I am a horror buff and a screenwriter myself that there were some things even if there were just a few things a few things that, that, that I didn't really like they really did have an impact on me because again majority of the film does very well but there are some things that really affect the story itself as a whole but I'm not going to get into that territory. I'm just going to state that there are some flaws in this movie. In my opinion, it's not, you know, like a movie of the year kind of thing. It's not really even a gem. But this, the adaptation of The Invisible Man to this film uh, really does deliver for the most part. The camera work as well as the cinematography and the directing, just all, just all of that is again just off the wall the suspense and the suspense and tension extremely deliver elizabeth moss absolutely kills it throughout this movie and i i am i'm actually not too familiar with the original one with uh vincent price i have yet to see that one but i did see hollow man with kevin bacon and uh, I, I recently went back to that film and just kind of explored it a little bit and this one really makes you forget that that one was even around. <laughs> this, that one wasn't a terrible film, but it did have a lot of things that I didn't quite get right, where this one absolutely did touch up on. But, you know, all in all, it is a it is a better horror film, you know, of recent memory. And it is so far one of the best films of 2020. So overall, I do give The Invisible Man a, a 7 out of 10. And uh, there, there are a lot of reviews that I have done that I still have yet to get out. So I think, I think what I'm thinking about doing is just releasing one last video where it has maybe four or five reviews in there. Uh, films such as The Turning, Sonic the Hedgehog, Gentleman, uh, Downhill, maybe, maybe a couple more. But this will be my final review for a little bit, um, just up until Pragmatophobia is out there in the world. So thank you guys so much for checking out this review. I know it is a little bit late, but I am very proud to state how much I am actually getting done with this film and how close it is to completion. So be on the lookout for that, everybody. And it's been it's been a great time doing these reviews. Um, I will not be done completely. I will eventually come back to them, but my primary focus will be Pragmatophobia, which is right around the corner. This month, guys, the trailer. So... You'll hear an announcement very soon. All right, take care, everybody.